Well, hello YouTube and uh, fellow Radio Hams, just a quick All Star uh, related video here, just a little project I've almost finished uh, I just wanted to share it with you, quick uh, walk through just in case it gives you some ideas or some inspiration uh, usual little black cases here which you've seen uh, in some of my other videos uh, just take a closer look inside here, we've got Raspberry Pi running the Ham VoIP All Star distribution which is very good um, got some um, matrix board here which I've glued a CM108 on it's just easier to put it on this board here and uh, put the necessary components a pretty much bog standard the well documented mod uh, for the transmit little transistor 2N3904 little NPN general purpose transistor and there's a 5k resistor here uh, driven from the GPIO pin over here uh, the COS is uh, coming off here and just through this uh, Shikotti diode here um, and um, yeah that's pretty much uh, uh, standard and just on the audio input side just tucked away under here we've got a 1k resistor here it's a 1206 SMD uh, and then a 10k uh, in series here and that's perfect uh, <clears throat> attenuator for most radios that I, uh, I use anyway, certainly the commercial radios. Uh, so that's basically the whole all star and then the, the interface all in a nice little box here. We've got the uh, standard um, LM2596 buck converter and I really like these, they never go wrong. And uh, one of the little things I did with this is um, it's a little mod I do on these is underneath on the output side here is you can just scrape away some of the lacquer here and uh, you can solder a couple of extra caps on here and I normally stick a um, 100 nanofarad 0.1 across here 1206 SMD and um, uh, I've got some uh, 47 microfarad uh, SMD caps as well I'll stick them on the bottom put 100 on the on the back on the input side as well and it just cleans them up a little bit um, you've got these big bulk capacitors here which um, but it's quite a bit of high frequency noise gets out of these not that it's causing a problem but it's just nice if you're doing anything uh, like this kind of type of stuff to put capacitors so just uh, moving across um, to have a look at the radio this is a, an old taxi radio there's loads of these kicking around at the moment this is a Tate from New Zealand I really really like these sets they pretty much are the best analog radios I think you can buy <clears throat> I like the Motorola's as well, the GM340 type radios, but these are just a bit better. Um, and on the back here, we've got a 15-pin uh, D connector. Just pull this out, and this is uh, this, this is what's wired into the back of the All Star node here. Um, and Ah, the, this this socket is completely configurable in software so we've got our PTT carrier sense uh, audio in and audio out and you can do some whizzy stuff there's some, lots of nice little features in these radios which are unique to this uh, model uh, so this is pretty much ready to go into service now there's a couple of little uh, adjustments to be made in the software to do with identification and remote control commands but apart from that it's ready to go in and hopefully should give many years of reliable service so uh, thanks for watching